by Manual Pelvic Examination by Senior Clerk Concepcion. It is part of the annual physical examination in adult women. However, the decision to perform is still based on medical opinion and patient's consent, and we take into consideration the patient's age, health concerns, and risk factors. The five points to check is summarized by EQUAD. First, explain the procedure to the patient and that the procedure may be uncomfortable. Place the patient in dorsal lithotomy with the buttocks at the edge of the examining table. Observe the aseptic technique throughout the procedure. Inspect the mons pubis, labia majora, labia minora, and the perineal body for skin, hair, contour, and swelling. Check the clitoris and take note of the size and shape. And if the hymen is intact, imperforate or open. And whether the perineum gapes or remains closed in the lithotomy position. Inspect the perianal area for hemorrhoids, sphincter injury, warts, and other lesions. With the second and fourth finger of the vaginal hand separating the labia minora, the urethra is inspected, palpated, and milked with the middle finger. The vaginal hand then palpates the area of the posterior third of the labia majora, placing the index finger inside the introitus with the thumb outside the labium, holding the labia apart. With the opening of the vagina should be inspected and evaluated for pelvic organ prolapse. Put lubricant in the index and middle finger and introduce them to the vagina, directing them posteriorly. The thumb should be pointing outwards or folded to minimize discomfort. Test the strength of the perineum by pressing downwards and asking the patient to bear down. The opposite hand is then placed on the patient's abdomen and pressing the infraumbilical area very gently, sweeping the pelvic structures towards the palpating vaginal area. Elevate the uterus by pressing upon the cervix and delivering the uterus to the abdominal hand. Evaluate the uterus for position, architecture, size, shape, symmetry, masses, consistency, tenderness, and mobility. Evaluate the cervix for position, architecture, consistency, and tenderness, especially and mobility of the cervix. Place the vaginal finger in the right lateral fornix. The abdominal hand is placed just medial of the anterior superior iliac spine on the right and the two hands are brought as close together as possible. With a sliding motion from the area of the aces to the introitus, the fingers are swept downwards, allowing the nexa to be palpated in between. Outline the annexa and note for tenderness, masses, and mobility. Palpate the left adnexal region, repeating the same technique. Withdraw the middle finger from the vagina and insert into the anal canal while the index finger remains in the vaginal canal. Evaluate the tone of the external sphincter muscle, tenderness, masses, irregularities, fixation, or mobility in the rectal vaginal septum and rectum. Remove and examine both fingers for evidence of blood, purulent material, and other alterations in color or consistency. Thank the patient. Document the findings and explain to the patient the result. Here are my references. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel.